hello and welcome back to another video so today as the title says we're gonna be going over the best pvp servers on 5m these are not going to be any rp servers these are gonna be strictly pvp focused and oriented servers which again it's not something you see a ton of the times on 5m but there are some out there so if you're looking for a place to kind of have some fun play for your aim get a little bit better and of course fight against other players these are the servers that you're going to be wanting to check out again there is quite a little bit of a range these are in no particular order there's no best to worst these are just again the top servers that i saw in my experience and that i tried out personally and was of course told by other people so again today we're going to be going over the best pvp servers on 5m so let's start it off at the beginning with g life gun game all right so again starting off with g life gun game you spawn in to this sort of hub area and there's only really one real option and that's to go over and choose a lobby from here you can choose one of the various gun game lobbies i of course recommend choosing the one with the most players and from here if you've played any of the other call of duty games that have gun game it's pretty much the same idea you start off with a weapon and you know if there's a new match everyone will of course start off with the same weapon and by getting eliminations you will of course level up that gun or if you die you of course just respawn and you'll have to try and do it again although you do have your kills and the current weapon saved so again you just go around you basically pvp with other players every gun has a certain amount of kills you have to get to actually rank up to the next weapon and you just keep going on until you get to the final one which is of course a knife and then from there you can just get i think one or two kills and then you of course win the round and it restarts with a, a new map and uh, new weapons most of the time and this constant change in maps as well as the different weapon stages you will go through really makes it stay interesting and of course if you are playing with friends does make it stay competitive and you know not get bored and be the same old thing over and over again again gun game is really only one game mode so they try and mix it up as much as they can and it definitely shows and definitely stays entertaining for quite a while so again it's a ton of fun i definitely re recommend hopping on actually when i was recording this i ended up hopping on a a couple friends and just messing around and having a lot of fun of it unfortunately near the end we ran into a hacker but usually from what i've heard the admin team is pretty good at banning those in a reasonable amount of time but again it's a ton of fun to just hop on play up a bunch of friends you know try and be competitive try to be the one who wins and uh, you know just even if you're trying to warm up just a bunch of different weapons this is a good way to do it as well and overall honestly out of all of the different pvp servers we're gonna be talking about this one i think is the most casual and the most fun in my opinion if you're looking for some to hop in you know have some fun play against some other players and you know have a good time i definitely recommend g life gun game again all of these servers that i'm going to mention in this video the links to them are going to be in the description so if you do want to check any of them out just go into the description and they should be right there in the order that we talk about them so i think it's gonna be about it for g life gun game but let's move over to the next server and talk a little bit about 5m king of the hill so again this next server is called 5m king of the hill and if you have played the arma 3 game mode king of the hill it is pretty much the same thing you spawn in and immediately you can see two shops first of all being the vehicle shop we're able to rent different kinds of vehicles to use during the battle now again when you rent these vehicles out same way with your weapons you're able to unlock higher rank vehicles as well as weapons by of course leveling up then also over here of course there's the weapon shop where you're able to choose from five different classes which again you can level up to unlock i believe you start first off with infantry and medic let's go with infantry and say i wanted to build a loadout i would select one of the primary weapons which again you unlock more as you level up and then from there i am able to either buy or rent it uh if you rent it you're able to use it until you die if you buy it you never have to rent it again and basically you have it forever for free so again we can go here buy a couple weapons and then head over to the vehicle shop from here again as you level up through doing objectives playing on the server and attacking other players you will gain xp be able to level up and unlock new vehicles here you can see us renting a bf 400 which is one of the vehicles that you get as you are starting out on the server um, after you level up just a couple times 
Now, there are a couple main zones, of course, these gray ones being the enemy bases and that center red one being the objective. Now, again, there are three teams and the servers do get pretty full. It's sometimes you're having over 200 players on the same server, which is really, really cool and a ton of fun. But again, you just go around and uh, obviously you work with your different teams. So here you can see us on the Syndicate team who has quite a couple points uh, and quite a couple players. But we're of course going to head over to the main fighting area. And here you're able to fight of course with other players, try to take over the zone. And by holding the zone longer and of course defending the zone, you do gain points. And then of course at the end of it, the winner is declared. Again, it is a ton of fun. Definitely in checking it out. There is quite a lot to do as well. If you have ever played on Arma 3 King of the Hill, it's pretty much the same concept where again, you have three different teams fighting over one point and you hold that zone and of course defend it to get more points and the one at the one wins. Pretty much the same exact thing as Arma 3, but again, it's in GTA 5 and there is leveling as I said before. You can also check the scoreboard mid game and you know, see who's doing the best, see who's doing the worst. Now, honestly, uh, as much fun as this game mode is as a solo, really it shines when you play with different people or you play with squads of people because then you can move together. You can of course go in the same vehicles or of course you can, you know, obviously just hop into a random person's vehicle, which you know, I, uh, I don't always recommend you know i think when i was playing it for this video actually we ended up getting into a chopper with someone and uh well let's just say you know make sure make sure you know who you're getting into a vehicle with before you get into it with them because you know it doesn't always go the best Now again, the actual PvP is pretty good as well. The time to kill isn't too long, so you don't have many very, very long battles. Although, if you are fighting on a certain uh, objective point and there are a lot of hills, snipers can get a little annoying, but of course, you just need some some snipers to actually counter them. But overall, the game mode and the server itself is a ton of fun. It's always populated and of course, has pretty good communities as well. Of course, when I was recording this, I had voice chat off, so you know, we didn't get anyone screaming but when i did have it on and i was playing a little bit more casually with some friends there was always some people who actually were down the chat and worked together so definitely a pretty fun community it's a little annoying you know sometimes if you're going into battle by yourself not really knowing what's going on in the middle of a match but once you know you get the hang of it the server can be a ton of fun and of course progression and having actual progression really makes the server feel a lot better because again you feel the longer you play on it and the better you get the more new weapons and vehicles you unlock and can do a lot more with again that's gonna be about it for 5m king of the hill definitely recommend checking it out it is a ton of fun um big 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 tip uh if you do play with a lot of friends it does make it a lot more fun so definitely recommend getting a couple buddies and hopping on it and you know going as a squad and trying to complete the objectives ton of fun definitely recommend check it out but let's move on to the next server which is going to be another server from g life known as g life extinction so this next one is honestly one of my personal favorites and we're gonna go through it quite fast i did make a full video on it if you do want to check that out and get a more in-depth look but basically extinction is as similar to wars if you ever played that where you basically start off and you start off in a little bit of a safe zone you're able to purchase different weapons talk to different traders level them up purchase different vehicles and of course a bunch more features trust me there's a lot on this server there's a full leveling system there's different clans there's different dungeons even you can go into with your clan there is quite a lot to do of course as you level up you'll unlock new weapons or vehicles and more definitely a ton of fun and again you basically just go out into the world you can compete over different zones there are different events that constantly go on on the server such as supply drops or rare vehicle spawns that are marked on the map for everyone to try and fight over again this server is a ton of fun and i have played it a ton in the past i highly recommend checking it out and again there is a ton to do on the server anything from of course Course, the dungeons i mentioned previously to red zones where you get better loot as well as tougher zombies but of course the biggest threat is the players and you'll have to fight alongside a ton of players and fight them of course i've seen the server peak at around 300 to 400 players online so trust me nowhere is safe it is a ton of fun though to hold down different buildings or zones with your friends go after different objectives try to get rare weapons or you know just level up and even with leveling up there's even a prestige system where you can get fervor enhancement 
attachments to your character over time so it's definitely a lot to work towards on the server there's also a leaderboard for every season and every season they will wipe every player's inventory you will keep your level and they usually do big updates around this time with a lot of new content they're adding new content pretty much every season and every season's lasting anywhere from i think two to four months but overall i've seen the server start out relatively good and gotten into a point where it's honestly one of my favorite servers on this list if not my favorite again definitely recommend checking out g life extinction on 5m now let's move to a little bit of a different direction next we're going to be talking about rsm free roam once again, another server that we have mentioned quite a bit in the past is, of course, RSM Free Roam. Now, with RSM, this one's going to be pretty straightforward. As the name of the actual server suggests, it is pretty much just a free roam server. There are quite a, a bit of activities to do, but in general, you just are able to just go around, have fun. You know, of course, this is the PvP side of it, where you're able to, of course, enable PvP and fight with other players. This is quite the good server just to get on. You know, you can spawn a bunch of different cars. I believe they actually have a ton of real life cars, of course, uh, with the actual brands being sorted. So there's a ton of cars to actually go check out there also is a ton of IRL weapons or weapons from other video games that are added onto the server that you're allowed to just go and kind of mess around with I mean they even have a freaking CSGO uh, AK Neon Revolution you know there's there's just a lot of fun stuff to go mess around with and of course if you're hopping off a couple friends you guys can just go somewhere have some fun PvP spawn some cars in use whatever kind of weapons you want it definitely is a ton of fun just go around and mess with but again that's pretty much it for rsm again it's just pretty much the best or one of the best free roam servers out there so i figured i would definitely mention it in this as there is a pvp mode within rsm but if you're just looking for a place to go chill with some friends not really have to worry about anything you can kind of do whatever you want spawn in whatever you want and you know just have a good time you can fight against your friends you can go race them or you know you can just pretty much do whatever you want again it is a free roam server i think it's gonna be about it for rsm again it is the most popular free roam server out there so if you are looking for one definitely recommend checking out rsm Alrighty, so moving on the next server we're going to be talking about is mafia pvp free roam now when you spawn in on the server you have the option to actually go and do a couple different things first of all you can join three different factions known as mafia gang or cartel you're able to go sell stolen items if you actually got them from fighting with other players and doing events you're able to go over to the weapon shop and purchase a wide range of weapons you're able to pretty much purchase anything you want there isn't any to unlock you just kind of are able to purchase pretty much any of them from the start which i wish they had done some progression with this but overall it is a pretty cool system there is a ton of different weapons to choose from mostly a lot of them are modded in and not natural to gta 5 so there's a ton of fun ones to go and try out there are also free for all events that do go on pretty regularly where you're able to just go in and not have to worry about teams and basically just are able to go and pvp with whoever you want in a free for all setting and of course once you leave the building you're brought out here we're able to do a couple things you're able to first actually look and purchase houses again i'm not totally sure what the point of the houses are but you're able to buy them either way which again you can bet through the auction system for either looking through lower middle or high class houses you are then also able to go and as a new player go and rent a bf 400 and again all the rentals do the same exact one they're all for just the bf 400 now i'm not sure if you can have a way to unlock more rentals but this is just what i saw off the bat you're also able to go and teleport to a bunch of different locations and of course go and pvp there now when i was doing the pvp it was a little janky it seemed like a lot of the players were invisible now again this might just be me since it's my first time loading into the server but that is just what i noticed it seems like every plan was invisible and i wasn't really able to shoot anyone it was like definitely a little weird um but again i think it just takes some getting used to and there definitely seemed to be some weird weapons that would one tap you which was definitely a bit aggravating when trying to test out the server Again, the style of the server is definitely not my favorite, but if you're looking to get in some more natural PvP, where you're kind of all fighting in different locations, 
definitely recommend checking out mafia pvp free roam seems like a pretty well made one and the main point of this server is that it's pretty much always full or has at least over 150 to 200 players at almost any time so if you're looking for the server or one similar to it for more of a gang war style pvp definitely recommend checking this one out and of course grabbing some friends if it makes it a lot more fun as well so definitely recommend doing that so anyways let's move on to the last server we're going to be talking about in this video so the last server we're going to be talking about in this video is 5m arena 2.0 now it is currently in its alpha stages but i was recommended the server by quite a couple people i believe they do plan to have a br mode in the future but for now you can either create custom lobbies or join lobbies off the server browser now this server is more so not one you would join to just play on with random people this is more so one you would get on with a couple people create a custom lobby and you're actually able to create quite a couple custom lobby modes and on different parts of the map and basically go fight your friends there's a bunch of different loadouts you can change your clothing you can change a lot of the stuff as well about the different lobbies that you want to create you can even make private ones where only your friends can join with a passcode but again 5m arena is more so the one that you would want to choose if you do want to just hop on create a custom lobby of some friends and basically just pvp with each other it is a lot of fun as uh, you can you know obviously get a little competitive when playing with your friends again it's not really one you want to just join and pvp on alone you definitely want to have some friends although there are public lobbies where you can join the public lobbies and pvp with other players i definitely recommend doing some private lobbies with friends are definitely a lot more fun and it does get quite competitive and quite fun but i do think that's going to be about it again five and we're going to this was a very short one as it is basically just a server to create custom lobbies with your friends on but i figured i would add this as it does fill a certain niche that you know not a lot of servers out there do but i think that's gonna be about it for 5m arena and this video as a whole if you guys did enjoy or you found a server that was fun to play on from this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video